Hello, my name is Deborah Schultz, and uh, today's video is going to be a um, what I eat in a day uh, plant based. Uh, I am not um, plant based, uh, but I do love to incorporate some plant based uh, meals or even some plant based uh, full day um, eating uh, throughout the week or when I feel like it. Um, and like once in a while, I go 100% um, plant-based, maybe for about a month. Um, I do not feel ready to commit um, to a plant-based diet, but I do love the, the concept um, and uh, the lifestyle in general. Um, I'm going to show you um, what, we, what I would eat on a typical uh, plant-based uh, day or what kind of meals um, I like to have. Yeah, so uh, let's get into it. I always start my morning with some coffee, with something that I'm trying to reduce a lot. And uh, for today's breakfast, I'm going to make like a lazy um, pancakes. I just make some oats, some mashed bananas. Um, and because um, I didn't have much banana, I put a little bit of uh, applesauce some cinnamon on top just for flavor I did not put sugar in it because I think it was sweet enough but you can definitely do that and uh, I also am gonna add some um, vanilla um, almond milk and I added like that much but uh, after a while I had to add a little more and I do let it sit for a little bit to so the oats could can soak up the liquid and I added some um, baking powder I don't know if I need it, but I, I did it. Um, I don't know if you do anything to it. I think you can leave it out if you want to. So after that, I did add a little bit more liquid uh, and I do let it soak for a little bit. So I just make the pinkies regular and it make, I made like three little pancakes and I think that was enough for me to make me full for uh, a long time. that's the final product and uh, with that I made like some um, blueberry sauce with I just put frozen blueberries in the microwave and I add some xanaguam, xanaguam to uh, thicken this up um, you can put sweetener if you want to but I think the blueberries are already sweet enough so I did not add anything and you see like how the this sauce thickens up and is very good you can also make like a jelly out of this it's very delicious. So it just is stacking up my uh, pancakes. It's a good amount of pancakes from and uh, the blueberry uh, on top. You see how that thickens up and is very, very good. And just some maple syrup on top. Um, and if you're trying to cut calories, you just can put some uh, sugar-free maple syrup or whatever you want. You don't need or don't even need the maple syrup on top if you don't want to. I absolutely love these. It's so easy. As I just call this this lazy oatmeal pancake. <laughs> so I don't have to use the blender. But you can also blend up all the ingredients and make it of a, a more fine uh, like flour out of the oats. And that's, that's good too. Lunch is always something easy. I, uh, I love eating um, like some sort of sandwich um, as I have a sliced apple. And at this day, uh, I use some uh, black beans. I just put a little bit in a bowl and I smashed, I mashed it up until it's like a paste. It's like a refried beans, but kind of healthier and easy to make. I absolutely love eating uh, toast with beans. I was very, very full after this meal, but I did have a little bit of a snack, which was cream of wheat with some blueberries. It was a very tiny bowl. I wasn't very hungry, but I wanted something. So I just made that. And dinner I made potatoes, zucchini, and some lentils. That was absolutely delicious. I never had lentils like this. I usually make a soup 
but I was very surprised with the result. And for dessert, I had some uh, two uh, tangerines, uh, mandarin oranges. I don't know how to say that. And uh, before I go to bed, I love having a cup of uh, almond milk. It's just something warm. And uh, I love having this every night. Thank you so much for watching and uh, if you're new here make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up uh, if you like this um, kind of videos and uh, i'll see you next one